Today, the faculty and staff of the University of Belize began a go slow, which we are told should result in a sick out on Thursday and a meeting on Friday. In addition, the president of the recently revitalized University of Belize Faculty and Staff Association, Fermin Oliveira, has resigned from his post. As we showed you last week, Oliveira had sent a letter to the membership of the association stating that if they no longer want him as the president, then he would resign. We are not sure why he resigned, but an inside source told Love News that it was because of his political affiliation. Also, we received a copy of the letter sent by the president of the University of Belize, Alan Slusher, in respect to the meeting held on October 6. In that letter, Slusher listed several other problems that the university has been trying to deal with, including the inadequacy of facilities. To deal with these issues and the 14% raise of salary that the faculty and staff are demanding, the university will need major cash. In his letter, Slusher states, quote, the budget outturn for the financial year just ended had projected a cash deficit of $2.5 million. This was held to a deficit of $0.4 million, mainly through not filling staff vacancies or delaying appointments, end of quote. Slusher continues by saying, quote, the university is completely dependent on the government of Belize for its financing and for support for its financing decisions, including student tuition and fees, end of quote. Currently, the government provides the university with $10 million annually, but according to the president, personnel cost accounts for some $20 million. Slusher tells Oliveira that, quote, you would therefore understand that the university is not in the position to provide any direct response to a demand for pay increases, end of quote. But the faculty and staff are not too happy with that response, and like today, they will be on a go slow come tomorrow.